Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. Today is July 21st, 2010. Our topic for today is being your own boss. But first, let's go ahead and get Jay's quote for today out of the way. It says, let your life mean something. Become an inspiration to others so that they may try to do more and to become more than they are today. That was by Thomas D. Wilhite. You guys seem to be reading a lot from him lately. But it's, it's a reality, okay? Um, life can be so wonderful when you're trying to be a living example for someone else in hopes that you're going to inspire that person to do what you've done or even greater things, okay? I'm always a guy that believes whatever I can do, you can do. Whatever you can do, I can do. All right? You just have to be inspired uh, to want to do that thing, whatever it is, and have the passion and the drive to go ahead and succeed. Let's talk about being your own boss. I'm just going to read something that I found today. And uh, it says, to be your own boss, you must become your best employee. Being your own employee is difficult because you're not scared of yourself and find it very easy to make excuses to yourself and you have no fear of being sacked. Bosses often hire mentors or coaches in order to gain some kind of accountability. You know, let's, let's, let's take this apart, okay, because this, this is good. It says, to be your own boss, you must become your best employee. Uh, that's true. I've had more than one company, and I've said a million times, and and I was very fortunate because I came right out of the military, and the first thing I had was a boutique. Wow. Then I had to do interviews, and then I had to hire, and I had to fire, because the expectation that an employer has for an employee is very high. So when you're your own boss, you have that same expectation. Okay, you want the best out of the individual. You want them to be dedicated, okay, to the job or to the business. Uh, then it says, and this one says, being your own boss is different because you're not scared of yourself. You know, they don't mean scared as in, I don't know, you're going to kill me or something, okay? But they mean scared in, well, you know, if I don't do my job, I'm going to get a pink slip. There's somebody else waiting to take my place. But when you're your own boss, how are you going to fire yourself? Okay? Um, and then it says, and find it very easy to make excuses to yourself. You have no fear of being sacked. That's what we just went over. You know, being a boss is not easy. When you go from being an employee helping someone else to be successful to helping yourself to be successful your boss is really a little clock in your head okay a little person in your head that's telling you hey you, you need to get up uh, hey Jay it's time for you to go to work wasn't there something you were supposed to do this morning did you do this did you do that and one thing I found out very unique you always thinking when you work for someone, you can turn it off at 5 o'clock. When you're your own boss, you can't. But the benefits are greater because everything that you make is yours. I'm a builder. I like to build things. I like to see them flourish. That's the fun in being a boss. Now, they say something that is very important. It says bosses often hire, often hire mentors or coaches in order to gain some kind of accountability. Being as that... Uh, that's the profession I'm slowly moving into which is coaching uh, I know for sure that uh, it's something that's really required in this day and age my job whoever I'm coaching is to get the best out of them okay but with their permission okay it's not my job to force anything on someone but to to, to help them go inside and bring out the best Okay, you've heard the stories about Michael Jordan, uh, about Tiger Woods, uh, Larry Bird, uh, Magic Johnson, and so many others. Okay, put them on the street with a basketball, and the ones that play basketball, they're just a normal person. Okay, what made them better 
was that they had a coach and that guy on the street did not have a coach. They had someone to, to, to push him, to push him to be successful. All right? So, being your own boss, it is a challenge. But I got an easy one for you, okay? Because I'm going to give you a test. What I want you to do, and I hope you learned something today, but is to go out and bless someone. All right? In any way you see fit, bless someone today. And I'm telling you, when you lay your head down at night, you're really going to feel good. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Jay out. Peace.